they were so grateful that they put you in your book. It's pretty special when it's an author so, I mean, puts, a, puts someone in the book. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. And I didn't yeah. mean to interrupt you. I, again, I was beyond flattered, you know, and you would know since you work with so many author, authors, um, how significant that is of certainly something I never expected. Um, but I just it, talked to the mom today, to Vanna today, um, because today happens to be the book release. And when I say today, I know this podcast might air on a different day, but Tuesday, the um, the 10th of November is the official release. Yeah, actually, it does say that actually it says November 9th. Um, um, but yeah, and today, and it's definitely available. So, well, I'm going to, I'm going to buy it for sure. Um, it seems to be a, a theme right now, um, where I'm buying books like this and then I'm, I'm, I'm required, I, I decided I named it required reading for my two teenage daughters. So I can imagine oh. it be a great book for them, um, to read as well. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy you shared that with me. Well, um, no, even better. I just, you know, I think it's important, you know, people have ideas um, of, of industries and of, of people's jobs. You know, it's just some idea that they somehow, you know, got, they read about, they saw a little snippet on TV. So I think it's, it's really important when you have someone like yourself that, you know, has been living in this industry as long as you have been in, and gotten to meet and interview and produce these stories. And now you're producing these stories on your podcast on the record. Um, I think it's it's just really nice to to dig deep and have you share you know something um, something that you went through. So thank you and some no, th story. It's awesome. No, thank you. I so appreciate it. So let me um, ask you. So we you know as you met some of our authors and we're starting a, a big program again next year. Um, and so you know people just. I won't say off the street, but basically, you know, business owners, entrepreneurs that know they have a story to share, but have maybe not even written a blog or anything at all. They're coming to us and we're going to build their story next mm -hmm. year. What would you um, say to them that would be an important thing from the media standpoint, from a media promotion standpoint, that our authors should should, you know, start from day one and day one for us is January 1, 2021? Well, if, honestly, speak from the heart, you know, like speak from the heart, think about, are you talking about as they actually sit down and write or sit down and um, try to present this? Yeah. As they, uh, as they really start to just write their story in January um, and then they'll finish it in November of 2021, they're going to write their books with us. You know what we would say in any newsroom or any journalist, when we would share a story, right? You start out by sharing the story as if you're telling your mom or someone you deeply love. So speak from your heart, speak from your heart and just start to write it down, write down whatever your heart tells you to write down. And from there, that's where the story will emerge because, and, and as you read back through it, what gives you goosebumps or what makes you, you know, your heart skip a beat, that is going to make someone else also take notice. And everybody, everybody has a story. We all Agreed. have something to share. Yeah, no, we agree. And then we can tell that, you know, your your news background of wanting to find that, you know, angle or or I, I'm not even talking the right language necessarily. But, no, no, but, you're, but uh, you're right. No, but it is an angle, right? Like even when you write a book, I would imagine, and I'm not an author, but um, there are angles, I would imagine, yeah, for sure. Well, it you know, we're asked many times, you know, how is my book going to be different than the, you know, hundreds of thousands of books on the same topic? And that's exactly what, what we look for is, well, first of all, it's going to be different and unique because it's coming from you and there's no one else like you, period, on the face of the earth, right? Um, and so then it's our job as, you know, writers and editors to extract um, you know, what is really there that we can find that's, you know, the most impactful and the most unique. So um, I love, I love that advice. Speak from the heart. Um, let me ask you, um, can you, can you share with us um, being in the media like you do, what would you say is uh, one of your best days? Maybe just walk us through one of, one of your best days in the, in your industry for you. Well, the, one of the best days in my industry is I love the creative process. I love to, 
Now it's a little bit different because, you know, I'm not working in a traditional newsroom, but I have clients. So I love to meet the client and sit down with them, figure out what their passion is and how they want us to share their story. In fact, we have a new client called, P um, they own PCS. It's a fiber optic networking company. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is something, of course, that I have no idea. I didn't understand it before. I certainly do now. But that's also what I love about a journalist. It's not just one topic. It's multi-topics. To, so, so to sit down with these company officials, to see their vision, then to craft out how we're going to shoot the story. And with this story, they wanted a recruitment um, video, and they didn't want anybody in the company interviewed. So I had to create it from scratch, my team and myself. We created it from scratch. So I basically, it was just me talking in the script. And But I love that creative process. I loved trying to understand what their company was about, which we did, what we needed to shoot, how we needed to uh, shoot the video. And, in, in, and here's a company that has a footprint, not only locally, but nationally and even overseas. So how do we get that across? And also they wanted it to be less than a minute and a half. Oh, so wow. we got that all done and to work. I love meeting the people doing the interviews, or in this case, since it wasn't interviews, still going to the locations, getting, you know, all the B roll as we, as we call it, then mm -hmm. sitting down in the creative process and writing the script out and writing the script out in a way that everyone can understand it. And then going through the editing process in a, in, um, in a newsroom, all of this would happen within a day. You know, you would go into an editorial meeting at nine, you would pitch your story, you would do your interviews, and you would have to make the five o'clock or six o'clock news. So there were very fast turnarounds. With clients, it's the same way, but we just have a little bit more time. You know, like this it's video took, because we had to go to multiple locations to shoot, it took a couple of weeks. But it's so that, that was going to be my question. Yeah. How long did that take for what? A minute and a half? Is that what you said? When yes, it was all still, edited and done? I love, I love it, that. Yeah. It still took it's, this one because this one was highly produced because we had to create maps and we had to. So it probably took Gabriel, who's a, who you met, who's a member on my team. I wouldn't, I don't know what I do without him. Probably took him two, two full days to edit the piece. Um, we yeah. shot in multiple locations. You know, we went to Orlando, we went to Sarasota, we shot in Tampa. So that probably took about three days for me to write it, took about a day. And then, um, doing the, the in-depth conversation, conversation with them as well. Um, you know, took a few hours, but we here, we try to do a quick turnaround for our clients. Yeah. Well, it just, it, it does go back to the same idea. I mean, we produced a book in 60 days from the ground up, but just over 60 days for one of our NFL Super Bowl guys. Um, but typically it's, you know, three to five months. And sometimes mm -hmm. I think our authors don't realize, you know, it's, it's not just telling the story. That's just the very beginning. There's just all these factors involved. Okay. Well, we are getting towards the end of our podcast. So I have to uh, end with the question that is the name of our podcast of what no one knows. And I know you shared a couple things, but if you'll just share with with us, what no one knows, um, probably not very many humans on this planet uh, know this about you. If you would share that and answer our question, I'd appreciate it. Serena Fazan, what does no one know about you? See, like, what does no one know about me? Well, that's a tough one because I feel like everybody knows everything about me because <laughs> it has been out there. Like everything, everything has been out there. But um, this, you know what I talked about with the stuttering, we had not talked about that for a long, long time, but I think a lot of people don't know that I was in, in serious speech therapy for eight years. And, um, when I remember in the third grade, when everybody else was going to lunch, I had to go to my counselor and go to speech therapy. And that was very painful, you know, for me and embarrassing because I couldn't get out my B's and my L's and, you know, those movies and those stories that you see where someone actually has to put their head down on their desk because they can't get the word out. That was me. Um, but I was very blessed to have great other kids around me and teachers. And thankfully and fortunately, while I was embarrassed, 
I was never subjected to teasing. And I, and I honestly don't know how that did not happen because that often happens. Right. But it didn't, it helped me get through it and I feel stronger and blessed. And I love your question. Well, and you and, and, and Joseph Biden, right. Didn't he have also a, yeah. something came up. I saw, yeah, the, the children's book that his wife wrote. So, all right, well, we are out of time and I just want to thank you very much, Serena Fazan. And I encourage people to listen to your new podcast on the record with Serena Fazan. And, uh, we appreciate your time and sharing what you did and, uh, Thank you again for joining What No One Knows, the Now no, Podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for listening to our podcast, What No One Knows. If you have a story to share, contact Now Publishing at publish at nowscpress.com. Visit our website, publishwithnow.com, for a free download from our The 90 Day Author book and let Now Publishing build publish, and sell your book.